Hello, howdy, and welcome back to the garden. I'm Catherine, the Arrow Garden Homesteader. So I made a really big push to get a whole bunch of stuff in the ground. I've got some tomatoes in the ground. I put in some peppers, only a few peppers, because I don't know how much room I'm gonna have for more. I did get some basil in the ground. I don't know if you can see. There's the tomatoes. I got a little bit of parsley. There's a pepper over there. For the most part, I've got just about everything labeled, although I'm not quite sure what the brassicas are, what order I put them in, but I know those are the brassicas. So I've got some more parsley and green peppers on this side. I did end up putting in some, this is the, oh my gosh, it's bolting already? Crap. This is the mustard, which I guess is bolting already. It has been really hot lately, so I guess we've got to just toss those. I'll just do that, but. That's the garlic actually on the side here, the elephant garlic. It's doing pretty good. I had four of the six come up, so I don't know if the other two will come up or not. The one that I had pulled earlier to see if it, oh, there we go, that one's coming. So then I'm not sure about that last one then. So five of the six are growing. I did have some onions inside that had sprouted, so I just tossed, tossed those in the ground, because why not? So this is the first bed, and I've got a decent mix of the Parsley, the basil, some peppers, some tomatoes. I guess the mustard isn't going to make it, but I can always put more um, pepper plants in along there. And I did install the fencing so that the tomatoes have something to hold on to. They don't really hold on, but I kind of weave them back and forth. And it helps hold them upright. And if I can't get them to go through, I just tie them to the fencing. So it works pretty good. It's kind of a minimal setup, so it doesn't take up a lot of space, but the clips can be a little bit of a pain to get installed. So. I show you how I do that and you can uh, sort of see what kind of clips you have. Definitely don't get the ones from Lowe's, they kind of suck. Try to go to like your uh, local farm and supply store and see if you can get better clips there. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's a challenge to get those clips on. So I am up potting some of the plants from the uh, Aero Garden, but I wanted to show you it's best to have the handle of a spoon or something to sort of reach in between the cells to poke up the pod because you see over here I accidentally pulled some basil out actually I accidentally pulled out some parsley right from the sponge and some of these little ones there's just nothing to grab onto no, no matter what. Now, I did want to show you so some of these this is time this is mint, accidentally mixed in with thyme somehow. So there is some cross-contamination with some of the pods. They're, you know, in the same box, rattling around. I'm sure seeds get dislodged and then end up in other pods. So it's just something to be mindful of if you're actually planting these in your arrow garden and you don't want mint in there. So just pay attention to what is growing in your pods. But so far I've gotten some of the thyme up potted. I did a little bit of the parsley. Pretty much everything that's going in the raised beds is going to be in pots and everything that's going in the raised beds on the ground will just be going straight in the ground. I'm hoping it'll be cloudy the next few days with a lot of rain so that'll help them acclimate to the sun because they are not acclimated. That's actually something I needed to do so getting that underway now. I just want to also show that some of these roots got absolutely insane and the plant is actually really hard to get out. So this Thai basil that just grew like crazy because I let it go too long. It's really hard to get them out of the arrow garden right now because I can't push them up enough. I'm afraid to pull on the stems. So unfortunately some of the roots are kind of getting a little sacrificed. But hopefully the plant will be fine. I hope. I guess we'll see. And then over to this bed, it's pretty much the same mix, it's just different peppers. So I think the first bed was Rio Grande peppers, and I think these ones are Romas. Oh yeah, so I guess I didn't label those very well either. But I do have a little bit of dill here. So this is the mustard as well. I guess it's not quite going to seed yet, but I guess we'll see. I did put in some nasturtiums. I got some of the flowers in the ground. Some pepper basil. So the basil, I don't know if you recognize it, or the parsley. These are actually from the arrow gardens. And then over here I put in some marigold the other day and while I had all of the arrow gardens out I actually up potted everything and they're sitting here under under the other pots so that they're kind of shaded out a little bit just to help them acclimate. 
You're gonna have to water them a ton. These ones are actually sitting in water just to help get them, you know, keep them hydrated. But everything is looking pretty good. I have managed to sell some of these, but I still have a lot left. It is what it is. I uh, actually took some strawberries out of the ground and potted those up just to see if I could uh, get them to root up. And then, let me see. I did put the, if you can see it here, put the red strawberries in the ground, so hopefully those can uh, help pollinate our hula berries, which they actually need a pollinator to get good crops on. These are the mints. Oh my gosh. One is cat mint and one is bee balm. Cat mint. This is cat mint. This is bee balm. And then these are the uh, chamomile. So everything has just exploded since I started feeding it. Although when it dries out, it doesn't do so well. So yeah, see, the basils are finally taking off. I figured out what this was. It was an alyssum seed that got in one of my basil plants. So I got some, uh, this is pumpkin pie pumpkins. I tried planting some cucumber, which apparently is just not having it. I don't even know how that seed ended up on top. So, I do have one cucumber plant. It's in the ground, but I literally have just one. So I still have, I still have everything to go in the big tall raised beds, and then these are the sunflowers, which I'm thinking of putting them along the back, but I'm not 100% sure. Kind of have to find spots for them. I don't think they'll go in the raised beds because they're they're too high. The the beds that are in the ground, I don't really consider those raised beds, but you know, it is what it is. Pepper plants. This one seems to be surviving. This one appears to be pushing out a little bit of growth. That one's still going. That one's still going. But this one's definitely dead. It actually just looks dead. This one's shriveling up and dying. Don't think it'll push out growth. And this one, I think it's dying as well. Well, that's too bad. So, that's just, uh, that's just how it works. So over here I have, I don't know if you can see it, there's some squash here. This is actually the, the sugar pie pumpkins with some dill nearby, because apparently that's supposed to help. We'll see. And then, Over here, I planted another nasturtium, and I planted a squash. And then I had a random tomato seed that I just stuck in the ground, a little seedling. I probably should have just chucked it, but I hate throwing out plants. And then I had a kale that overwintered last year, and it just looks like it's going to seed, so I might just pull that one out. And then our strawberries are starting to actually flower. They're getting ready, so that's pretty cool. Our plants are doing really nicely. And then, let me see, looks like some of our pineapple, our pineapple pear, got uh, pollinated. So we might actually get to try them this year. That'll be pretty cool. Looks like some of these ones got pollinated as well. Okay, so inside, in the arrow gardens, I've got just the farm left, and it just has the basil. And that is literally it. So there's the rest of the Parsley that didn't make it in the ground. There's all of those ones. So, so if I can get that one out and all cleared up, then that will cover everything that was in the arrow gardens and I can start a summer garden inside. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna probably try to do a planning session and uh, talk some things through, but otherwise, yeah, this is the garden. It's uh, hopefully looking pretty good. Although things are looking a little sad. I literally just put them in the ground. We're supposed to get, um, Supposed to be partly cloudy today which will help them acclimate and then it's supposed to be rainy drizzly and cold the next like week so we went from above well actually we went from below seasonal to above seasonal to below seasonal to above seasonal it's just been a yo-yo so yeah i'm gonna get these watered in the ground and uh i hope you found this useful i hope you are enjoying coming along on this journey of me putting things in the ground that uh, are probably way too close together and probably way too many of them and we will see what happens. Hopefully I will see you next time on the Arrow Garden Homestead.